I was hoping to see some moose while we were here, but I don't understand taxidermy. Next adventure. Grand Teton. We are so excited for this. So excited. All my life. I've been waiting for the Grand Teton. All my life. Well, 25 years of it. Yeah, all right. You're just a little older than 25, sure. Jim. <laughs> Had a little trouble getting out of uh, the campsite this morning. We're dragging. We are dragging. We're dragging a little. Yes. When I was first learning to drive as a teenager, uh, my father, who taught me to drive, one of the things he liked to do in lessons of driving was to set a coffee cup on the dashboard and make me shift the gears, all four gears, while he poured a cup of coffee. It was torture. And Who knew it would come in so handy? Until this day, I thought it was just a lesson of torture. <laughs> but, today... Today it paid off because we were a couple miles down the highway and I asked that oh so important question, where's my cup of coffee? And we both, I think at the same time realized, oh, it's back there in Boone, sitting on the kitchen counter, where it was. So I grabbed a microfiber towel. You can never have enough of these things. We pulled off the road. I go running back there, expecting to clean up a big mess. Walk in, cup of coffee still sitting on the counter, undisturbed. So thank you, Shuggy Williams. Cheers to Shuggy Williams. <laughs> Absolutely. Lesson learned. side of the road here in Wyoming take a little pit stop glad we did because came in and found the kitchen table flipped over laying by the fireplace and the end of the table is broken I have no idea where it was drilled in I cannot find any holes anywhere I'm guessing so thus far this trip we have broken the kitchen table we always wanted a booth by net We'd have one, this wouldn't have happened. And one kitchen drawer. What are you gonna do? Guess we'll worry about that when we get back home. Day two in the Grand Tetons. Yes, yesterday, uh, day one, was a little washout, a little, um, a little freeze out. <laughs> Do you know that was our first time in traveling for the last 10 months that we had a day where the weather just put a stop to everything. It was sleeting, 30 mile per hour winds, dark, cold, so we took it as a day rest. I guess we're not hardcore enough, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But still, even even at our campsite, 
you would look out the window and as awful as the weather was, you were like, wow, look at those views. Look at those views. And that is the one thing about this place. I've never been to a place where no matter where you look, there the view will take your breath away. It's true. And there's so much wildlife here. There's all these birds, there's little critters, there's big critters. I'm currently distracted by our little prairie dog that's sitting on the rock watching us make this video. He seems very intrigued. But there's a lot to do here. I can't wait to see what kind of mess we're gonna get into today. Let's get going. Let's go. Did you see him get up on the rock I and did. stare at us? Cowboy coffee. Good just to have for that place. Let's go. Here in the town of Jackson, and we kind of have a, a policy where if something's fantastic and extra special, we want to share it with you. Anytime we come across a town, a campground, a location that's eh, less than good, we're just going to skip it and not talk about it all together. Jackson is worth visiting. It's really cool here. A lot of high-end shops, but a lot of shops for us normal folk too. We've done a little hat shopping today, and it's very dog-friendly. Gatsby's been able to go in some of the stores. He's had a lot of attention and love. He's got some treats today. Found himself a little black bear to take home. Highly recommend Jackson, Wyoming. Wrapping up a beautiful day here in the Grand Tetons. It got warm. It was so gorgeous. The temperature drops really quickly when the sun goes down. So we've got a fire here. We have a little Otis Redding on. Really could not ask for more. Heart full of gratitude. We are about to witness a phenomenon that so few people really get to see. And sadly, our cameras can never capture it, so we won't be able to share it with you. But it is a completely clear night here. It's going to get down into the 30s tonight, so we are going to be looking at millions and millions of stars and planets and all of it. I don't get to see this back home, so this is one of my reasons for coming out west, is to get to see the beautiful night skies out here. Can't wait. So what's more western than horseback riding? No kidding. Maybe our hats. <laughs> Getting ready to go out on a two-hour trail. Gonna do some creek crossings. Jim and I both have ridden horses before, but never in such a beautiful place. You know, I always get the one that needs a lot of instruction and steering. It never fails. But I remember enough to get the job done. Our horses are in love. Tetons. You are special. Love you. <laughs> uh, I could truly get lost here. Yeah, this is one of the most unique locations um, probably in the United States. And there's something for everyone here. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. There's adventure. There's just kicked back, sightseeing, traveling around. Great dining, great shopping. History. It's amazing. And speaking of all of those things, let's talk about Jackson for a second. Fell in love with Jackson. 
I just fell in love. <laughs> Jackson is a really cool town. I can see where it attracts a lot of celebrities. Um, they probably could come out here and not be very disturbed and enjoy the beautiful land. Yeah, and if Jackson could work on their weather a little bit, they might have two residents. That is actually not true because Jackson would also geographically need to scoot much closer to the beach. Okay, work on a beach and your weather, Jackson, and you got two new residents because that's how much I love that, that town. It is a great place to visit. Boondocking went fine. Typically when we worry about something, we never have any problems. It's the things we don't worry about that get completely screwed that's up. That's true. That's very true. Um, yeah, the rig did great. Um, water, uh, which Had we were really... Had off to yeah, Keystone right? on that. We have 81 gallon tanks. So we should have so, washed yeah, the dog. There was still plenty of water. So uh, I think there's more boondocking in our uh, future. There definitely is. And can I point out, this is obviously one of the most exceptional campsites. We've uh, It is the most exceptional campsite yes. we've ever been to. And it cost us zero dollars. This is free land. Uh, it, crazy. Dispersed camping here in Wyoming is awesome. Find a spot and just set up. Yeah, do your research before you come out. It's absolutely worth it. Again, we are going to put the latitude longitude coordinates for this space in the description. Couldn't be happier with it. So check it out. Yep. Next up. Yep. Yellowstone. We're headed up the road a couple of hours to Yellowstone. Can't wait to take you along as always. I'm looking forward to it.